so students any number and t to the power minus 1 product of this number and t to the power minus 1 will be the unit for frequency all right so your frequency is also over. now let us take some more examples i am taking the unit of pressure i hope students the pressure terms also you have come across in your junior classes isn't it is a pressure formula pressure okay I'm right uh, wiping it out and writing in the top What is the formula of pressure? Pressure is the force applied per unit area. That means more or less it is force by area is your pressure. Isn't it? Now, what was your formula of force? Just remember in the previous part, in the previously we have learned what is the unit of force? Unit of force means mass. L that means NL T to the power minus 1 by what is the formula of area is just the square of the length L square ok so ML T to the power minus 1 is your unit for force and for area L square so if you just calculate it, if you see, you will see that M remains as usually in the numerator. L becomes minus 1 and T becomes minus 2. Your force, the unit of force was M L T to the power minus 2. So M L to the power minus 1 T to the power minus 2. I am discussing that how this L is coming. See, M and T will be same as it was before. Now, what will happen to the case of L? See, in the numerator, the power of L was 1. See, I am writing it here. Just for, I am writing this part to explain that what happens to the case of L. Power of L was 1 in the numerator. What was the power of L in the denominator? It's L2. It means L square. So, when this L2 goes up, it will be minus. Since you are making it up, you are pushing it up in the numerator. So, L to the power 1 was all as usually there into L to the power minus 2. So, 1 minus 2 is how much? Minus 1. So, L to the power minus 1. See, I have written it here. Okay. So, pressure, the unit of pressure, finally it will be M, L to the power minus 1, T to the power minus 2. Alright. So, uh, you can also, it's better not to write M to the power minus, uh, minus 1, M to the power 1, sorry. Uh, just, you just think that if there is no power written on top, you have to imagine that power 1 is there. That's why I have omitted this one here. Just for your concept, think that if no power is there, that means power 1 is there. You have to imagine this. Okay. So, let us take the example of work. Alright. Uh, what is the formula of work, students? I hope this also you have learned in your junior classes. The formula of work is force into distance. Okay, so I'm writing it here. Work equals to force into distance. 
I am writing distance in short, but in your exam you will write the full word distance. All right. So work equals to force into distance. So what is the formula of work students? So what is the formula of force students? It is. You can see in your previous pages m l t to the power minus two into. What is the formula of distance? It is just l. Nothing power, no index power is written. So we'll just put it as l, isn't it? So previously you had m to the power 1 l to the power 1 t to the power minus 2 and you have another l so writing in bracket as l to the power 1 into l to the power 1 equals to l square isn't it students this is simply the math part so we will have only m L square T to the power minus 2 ok power of M in the previous step was 1 so in the next step we will obviously not write this is just for your imagination so we will have this the work the unit of work is M L square T minus 2 ok I am wiping it out. So uh, we have in today's class we have learned so many units of this physical quantities, isn't it, students? The concept of power I hope you have learned in your math classes, but here also while explaining, I have introduced them. Okay. So let us take the example of power right. I think we will check the number students uh, whatever number will it come I think it will be number 8 but we will check accordingly we will write ok if I put any wrong number here you will just make the correction in your copies while writing so power means the rate of doing work how much time you are how much uh, how work you are doing in with respect to time that will be your power so power will be equal to work by time ok what was your formula of work students we have learnt in a previous number in the previous part m l square t to the power minus 2 by t Okay, isn't it? 